Hi, welcome to Because Looking Good Feels Good with me, Dr. Janet Allenby. Um, today on our live Instagram, we're going to do something a little different. Um, you know, one of the things that we want to do with Because Looking Good Feels Good series is kind of give you guys the inside scoop of what we do around here. And we do have a lot of fun, I got to tell you. Um, first of all, hopefully everybody is wearing their masks and just because I'm on here, I don't have my mask on, but I will be in it in just a few minutes um, because we don't want this COVID thing to get out of control any more than it is kind of seeming to. Um, so please, you guys, wear your mask, wear your mask. Um, when I'm not doing these sort of things, I'm pretty much always in a mask and I'm kind of getting used to it. I am getting a little weird stuff on the face from it. So if you guys are too, please uh, direct message us and we can help you out. But anyway, so today what we're gonna do is we are going to um, do lip injection and a new product that we're kind of really uh, hyped about. It's called Enhance and it's by Elastin and it really helps in the bruising potential and the swelling potential for after using, um, getting the procedures done. Like I did a little something on Friday because we know I'm crazy and I'm doing stuff all the time on myself and I usually get pretty banged up and I did use it and I'm shocked on how I did not bruise. So I know everybody out there has a really busy li life and schedule and you don't like looking like you're getting anything done so this might be a really good one to use and I'll kind of go a little bit more into it um, I will have Christina taking over and um, you're gonna watch me do a little injection and talk to the rep the the rep who is going to be um, getting injected is the elastin rep so we have um, today behind the scenes um, we have Carolyn Grimes and she is with prejuvenation.com um, and it's actually a video series and it's a site that you can actually watch about different products and that's actually kind of what we were planning on doing was doing a little video on the enhance anyway and one of my new favorite lip injections um christina's going to show you some before and afters in some different age groups because i have actually I, I'm, I'm in love with this product and lips are really hard to fill without looking crazy and you know I think we avoided lips for probably about, I don't know, five years. Once, you know, the, the crazy lips, the, and then, you know, the Kylie Jenner lips that were just humongous and it just kind of killed the lip vibe for normal people. Um, you know, we kind of just shied away from doing lips because so often they just looked uh, abnormal. They looked done. Um, they didn't have a soft flow to them. And if you guys remember back during COVID, um, we had Alyssa Lass come on and she was, she's in charge of the uh, medical aesthetics for Galderma. And she was telling us about wrestling kiss and it's out and it's fantastic so we're going to show you some awesome before and after pictures and then christine is going to take over and show you like what it looks like when we're doing a little filming something here and again carolyn grimes is going to be filming it and that's um her her whole uh, world is about doing beauty tips and aesthetic tips and kind of showing people what's new and out there so we're going to be doing the elastin enhanced cream this is their newest product out there again it is uh helps get the bruising away quicker helps with the swelling helps kind of hydrate the area you know after you get done the skin always kind of looks a little you know, just traumatized and it really soothes everything. So um, you are going to be seeing Christina now. Christina, come on in. Okay, I gotta get my mask on because she's getting close. Christina is going to be um, showing you some before and afters and we are gonna go ahead and pop them up and I'm gonna go get some gloves and mask on and you'll see me in the other room. Bye. Yes. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you some of these before and afters. So um, we're going to show you the before and afters from Restylane Kiss, like Dr. Allen V was saying. And Restylane Kiss is a great product. It is one of the newer fillers that we have here in the office um, for uh, when patients are coming in and they're looking to get their lips injected. And I do agree 100% with what Dr. Allen V said. You know, gone are the days where we want to have those overfilled lips everything we want is very natural in its appearance and so that's why we love Russell and kiss so much because it's giving you the effect of having a very natural appearing uh look where um your lips still look like they have they they have the that fullness so we're going to kind of give you a little before and afters um this is a patient that i injected she is a 20 something year old female um and we, this was her first time actually getting her lips done. 
And you can see on the top photo, if you can see that, she had a really small upper lip. She was a little self-conscious about it and she um, was going back up to college and she wanted to have her lips done um, before she went back for summer classes. Um, I know you're probably like, her school is having them, but she is taking them. So anyway, <laughs> she wanted to get her lips done beforehand. But it's such a beautiful product. And here we just used one syringe. Um, we didn't use more than that. So just one full syringe. And a lot of people say to us, oh, I only want to use half. It's it's honestly, I know when I am, I'm injecting, one full syringe is more than enough. And as you can see here, not overdone. So the next picture we're going to show you is a 30-something year old. Um, and the 30 something year old is somebody who has had filler before. Um, she came in because she heard about Restyl and Kiss on one of our other segments that we did when we were talking about it. Um, and she loved how she just wanted a little bit more fullness on her top and bottom just to even it out, give her more symmetry. Um, the next picture that we're going to show you is a 40 something year old female. And you guys can see that, you know, going through the age ranges. Um, at 40, we have some dehydration lines. Her upper lip definitely appears smaller. Um, we see that um, her bottom lip has the dehydration lines also. And she has really no Cupid's bow, right, at the top, that little nice point. So let me see if I can kind of... There we go. And so you could see that she doesn't really have up top here, a nice point, a nice to find Cupid's bow. And then down here, such a beautiful shape to it. Very nice, very natural appearing. So a 40 something year old, even in their late thirties, early forties, we're starting to notice those lip lines kind of become more pronounced. Dehydration lines in the middle, really um, showing the volume loss because our lips lose its volume and our lips lose its shape because as age and time goes on, we start to lose that support. And then the last picture that we're going to show you guys is a 50 something year old female. Again, beautiful. Um, you can even see the top lip is really starting to go down, starting to turn in. If you guys, maybe you have it yourself or maybe somebody you know has lips that have a very small top lip, um, you know, filler is really the best way that we can correct that without having significant downtime. And then when you add the elastin post-procedure, um, the enhance, you're really going to be able to get the best, you know, results after a treatment immediately without having to have swelling and bruising. So we love this here. Um, but especially for the lips, where you can see a nice defined upper lip, not too much crazy fullness, um, just enough to have that quick enhancement. Not enough though for people to be like, hmm, what did you use or what did you get done or what happened? So again, we just showed you pictures from a 20 something to all the way down to a 50 something year old using the fabulous Restyl and Kiss. Um, something that we are very happy to inject here um, and we paired it with um, the Elastin Enhance um, to help reduce any swelling or bruising. Um, so yeah, so I'm very, very excited to be able to, and I think that um, we are having some promotions when it comes to the Restyl and Kiss. So be sure to call our office so that you can hear all about our um, amazing promotion that we have going on with the Restyl and Kiss because you will be very happy and honestly one of the best things i love about it is there's really no downtime so you can see this is what they look like immediately after so what we're gonna do now is um we are going to do a little behind the scenes okay so this is something that um i have to put my masks on for all right so this is what we do also for our patients but behind the scenes, you guys, something that um, is very exclusive and I'm really excited to show you. All right, so let's go. I'm going to show you guys what we're doing. Hey, hi, hi, hi. Okay, so we have Carolyn Grimes here. And she is from prejuvenation.com. And we are going to put a link to, to how you can get to her. So we will have that on Instagram. And I hope you can hear me. I do know when when we started wearing these 
double and triple masks. Nobody can hear anything we're saying. I do feel like either Darth Vader or I think I might feel like what a pug must feel like with these <laughs> things on because I sit there and I snort away over here. So anyway, so um, Caroline is, um, she was just telling me about her website, which is um, Prejuvenation. And the kind of cool thing about Prejuvenation is that it, it's kind of like um, instead of having to go to the point of rejuvenation, which is a lot more work, get people while they're still like at least workable. And right. then, you know, they don't have to have such a huge uh, procedures to get them to the end point that they want. So you can tell them a little bit more and then we're gonna talk to Erica. Mm -hmm. Erica is from Alaska and Hi. she's our, our great, great patient today. And she's the one who brought us some of the elastin to use. Um, so Carolyn, tell us a little bit about Prejuvenation website. Well, Prejuvenation, it's the newest catchphrase in aesthetics. And basically, like Dr. Allenby was saying, instead of waiting till you get old and rejuvenate, let's start now and prejuvenate. But it really, it hits all age groups. We all want to look better. We all want to feel better. And let's get in and start doing little treatments all along the way and look our best. So we go around, we only interview board certified physicians. We want to teach our viewers and anybody that watches um, or goes on our website or um, Facebook or anything like that, that they get the truth about all these new procedures and skincare products. So it's kind of like in line of what I was already saying, you know, we all try to get information that's real to everybody. And I think that's the cool part. Now we're gonna be uh, featuring not just Enhanced Kiss, which is what this is, but we are um, the Kiss Wrestling Kiss. I'm sorry, but we are talking about Enhanced, which was um, the one we were talking about, which is this little tube here. And you can go ahead and show them. I think it's a cool design, actually. So she's basically, and if she even put a little on now, it's totally fine. Um, give us a little blurb about the coolness of this one. So Enhance was created to minimize the patient's downtime post injections and to uh, give them a better patient experience. So with um, Elastin's uh, patent and Trihex technology, it's going to clear out the extracellular matrix where they're getting all that new collagen and elastin fibers that are being um, put into the skin prior to having the procedure. And then using it post um, procedure, the Enhance, you're also getting hydration we have this awesome cool tip applicator where it feels really nice, whether it's on the lips, it could be the cheeks, anywhere you're having injections. Um, it's also very hydrating. So we have, it's 400 times more hydrating than hyaluronic acid. And it also is plumping. So we have a special peptide in there that plumps the skin. Um, it also uh, rolls into our restorative skin complex, which does the same as well, where it plumps the skin, which after the patient finishes using the Enhance after the 10 days, we want them to switch to the everyday um, restorative skin complex, and then they'll also get additional benefits such as the brightening. Um, so this kind of goes hand in hand with each other, but when you're using the enhanced post-injection, 81% um, of our patients had less um, bruising compared to the competitor, and then 73% of patients had less color intensity bruising on days two and three. So um, then in its anti-bruising, anti-swelling, anti-inflammation, anti-biofilm, feels really, really nice, super hydrating, and it's just really good ingredients. And you'll, it's gonna improve the patient's experience as well. So I think for us in the field, this is, you know, we have a term, it's called, you bruise, you lose. And this is gonna help us all be winners when we inject people, because we definitely, you know, nobody wants to be bruised. Again, we're already trying to look as natural as possible with this, and then when you're having bruising, it's just making it, you know, like, oh, what are they doing this time? which if you guys know me, that's like all the time. Mm -hmm. um, so if I can not bruise, I'm a lot happier. And like I said, I used it on Friday for four days is how often you're gonna use it, four times a day, and it does help. Another thing that a lot of times we'll have people do also is we use skin nectar ahead of time. Mm -hmm. It kind of clears out the skin. So when we inject, it's a little bit of a, a finer palette to start with. We use this a lot after our post, or during our uh, Vivace, the microneedling with the radio frequency, and it kind of helps people heal up a little quicker. Now this one is moisturizer free, but this is the one that the guys really like because it has a nice feel to it, where it doesn't feel like a moisturizer, it kind of has a little bit of a slicker feel to it. So we are gonna go ahead and do a little injection. Now we did put a little topical numbing ahead of time on her. I'm gonna just tilt her back just a teeny drop. We usually do a little bit of topical numbing, possibly ahead of time or not at all 
this is a really friendly product. This one has not been uh, one that people have a lot of discomfort with. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start. I usually use it actually, I start on the upper lip and I work there first. And she doesn't, she has beautiful lips to start with, but she likes a little more fuller look and we all, who doesn't? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start the first one or two is a little bit of a pinch and then after that it gets better. But let's go ahead and take a little second here. Just try to relax. You can, I just kind of prime it and this one has uh, been super awesome, and I'm sure you saw the before and afters already. Pinch, here it goes, a little pinch. And we're just gonna put a little bit in here. You can kind of see it just kind of bolstering up the whole area. There, right here. And I'm gonna go in the same area where it's kind of numb still, so it doesn't hurt so much, and another little pinch. A little, little drop of blood, but that's normal. This is injections. <laughs> and here we go, a little bit more. There we go. And for those who know me, I am definitely a cannula girl. This actually does better with the needle. So you can kind of see the fullness that she's starting to get on the one side. Thank you. And we obviously, we cleaned her ahead of time and this is pretty typical. It looks beautiful already. A little, just right along her lip line. There we go. Normally there's a lot of chitter chatter in here, so this is pretty quiet for us. But what we normally do is talk about relationships. <laughs> uh, we talk about uh, guys, we talk about kids, we talk about dogs. So she's doing fantastic. It's a little pinchy. Um, I'm going to do a little more. I kind of like to do one side and then I go to the other side and do the other side. Um, once the side is full enough. And I usually like to let them see the before and then the after. With this product, I have found that it takes about a week and a half to settle all the way. Let's see where we're at with this. Um, looking very pretty, but it takes about a week and a half. Um, the first day or two, there's a little bit of swell. It's not bad, but it does have a little bit of a little more hardness to it for a couple days. This is expression technology, so it's very flexible when she moves. Go ahead and take a peek at the one side. Um, oh, when wow. she's moving, it actually is nicer wow. with, with her, her motion. So when she pulls, like, smile hard, see how it just kind of smooths out? Like, it doesn't stay ridgy looking when she smiles. Some of the harder products sometimes will look more like a, like a rim around the mouth sort of look when, when she smiles. Or it's too stiff looking. So this doesn't look stiff at all. But that's what expression technology is, like, so good about. Let's take a peek beautiful all right i'm coming to the other side so usually we do actually the, the lip and kind of get a fullness and kind of bolster it out and then we do the corners a little bit more aggressively and you're going to feel it again this kind of hurts you okay oh yeah you've done your lips before right mm-hmm how does this feel to you, by the way? I know it feels really nice. Like I, um, I've had them, my lips done probably like at least a dozen times, and um, this feels really nice. Yeah, it's it's nice because it's a smaller it needle, smooth. and it doesn't burn when it goes in. Mm -mm. It has just the right amount of lidocaine, not too little and not too much. Like sometimes when there's too much, it starts feeling huge, and when you have that lidocaine in there, it just like feels like the lip is just so humongous. Um, so it's really, uh, like gets people like crazy thinking, oh my gosh, my lips are going to be huge. I'm going to look like a nut and it doesn't. So she's missing a little spot here. This will just pinch just a little here. I'm sorry. As you get more towards the center of the lips, it hurts a little bit more. And oh, looking beautiful. Okay. So, and they will come down from this side. They're not going to be quite as robust as what we're seeing right now, even though they are 
beautiful. And she, like I said, she had pretty nice full lips and wig. Now this is really gonna help her because she gets dry lip issues and it's gonna hydrate her lips more. Okay, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. You look great here. This is looking Thank so you. pretty. Now, we really like the biofilm thing and that she was talking about, about the enhance. And for those of you, the word is should be foreign, and I hope it is because nobody wants a biofilm. Biofilms are where bacteria get into the hyaluronic acid and they get stuck in there and they end up causing bumps or inflammatory nodules later. So having a product that will reduce some of the biofilm is really going to help us here. Okay? Oh, yeah. So basically I just stick to the natural lip and I don't try to correct for asymmetry too much initially. There's a little bit here. There we go. Just a teeny drop right here. Okay, let's take a look together and see where we're at. And now we can kind of make adjustments from here. Oh my gosh, so good. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. Absolutely. Okay. It's more defined too. Much more. So um Wow, this looks beautiful on you. She has a pretty strong upper lip to bottom lip. It's like right now one to one. I think she needs just a drop more in the bottom to kind of balance her out just a little more. She is um, Caucasian and it does better with the bottom lip being slightly bigger than the top. Uh, here we go, just a teeny drop. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But having that hyaluronic acid in there also will give more uh, hydration to the lips. So that's gonna be a nice one for her. Okay. I think she might have, and this is where the enhance will help. She has a little baby bruise right there. So I think, you know, that's a little more swelling than she's gonna actually have when it, when it is all done. But I will put a tad more on this side just to balance her, make sure it's always, you know, you want the lips as symmetrical as you can and you, you know, no lips are symmetrical anyway. So if you can get close, that's like great. As we get older, we see more asymmetry going on because teeth start changing, you know, things like that start affecting how our, our mouth is shaped and, and how it falls. And then, because everything on the outside is just like the, the fabric on top of the structure. So if the structure is changing, then it will reflect in there too. Okay, I think that is beautiful. Give her a peek. I'm going to use a little drop of luck to kind of go down here on her. I love it. Are you good with the size? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. No more, right? Oh, <laughs> I don't mind. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. No, okay, we're not. <laughs> okay, you might need a drop right here, too. I just see a little bit. But right here. There we go. Okay. She has a little bit too much right here. I think maybe she sleeps on the side and everything's a little flatter and kind of rolls over sleep. at night. So yeah. she has a little bit here. Do we have the light in here by chance? Okay, I always use the light in this area because there's a lot of vessels here, okay? And there's nothing really strong like a vessel sticking out. Start with like up here real quick. So you can really see those vessels, you know, and you don't want to hit something like that because it is going to be a big bruiser. So um, most of the vessels in the mouth area are a little bit deeper, so that's why I could go against the lip line fine. But sometimes this area will surprise us and we'll have like that somebody sitting there. Okay, good, thanks. I'm just gonna go right in here. Pull it right out. So this is a pretty superficial um, product. It does best high up in the tissue. Let's go ahead and get our Enhance after cream, please, post-procedure cream. Why don't you start using a little bit on this side? I want to do a drop over here. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and help her, Laura? Yep. I want to go a little bit more here injection-wise in the mm -hmm. And if you have... She's got, a, she's got a little, maybe there's something that dented a little bit right here. So that's a syringe of Ruffling Kiss. Alrighty, and then we are going to be, thank you, 
pointing her up a little bit more here. I always go around and just feel everything and make sure everything feels smooth. And with this product, I'm totally fine with people kind of manipulating it. It doesn't tend to swell bad. Every so often, somebody's going to swell. But overall, it's not a big, big sweller. This will definitely help it. And I am pretty liberal with this. Really want a lot on there. It feels it's, really good going on, too. Does it? Does it? Good. Mm -hmm. it has kind of a cool feel to it. Mm -hmm. Like a cooling effect. Absolutely. Okay, good. And you can rub it right into the lips themselves. Even if it gets in their mouth, that's okay. It doesn't uh, hurt anything. But her lips tend to be, she must be like a little bit of a mouth breather because her lips are pretty dry. And that's all. And you're going to do it four times a day with the Enhance, Elastin Enhance. It has all those great qualities to help our, our procedures be better for our patients, which is the important piece at the end of the day. Anyway, so because looking good feels good, right? Yes. All right, cool. Bye, Instagram people. <laughs> Bye. All right.